I remain bullish on Bitcoin, long and chill, no short trades yet, expecting higher prices to come. How many times have you heard that this year? And I am repeating the same statement again. The trend is up. There are no bearish signs. The order flow is good. We got to trade this trend and look for higher prices. So in today's video, I'll be explaining now where the next target above us is, why this is the case, why I have no interest in shorting here and how I can remain still so confident and yeah, ultimately still with that bullish bias. So Let's pick up right where I left off my last video for you all a few days ago over on YouTube. And, uh, you know, really simply, it was long all Bitcoin dips because higher targets are coming, right? No short trades yet. Uh, look for higher. And, you know, I do want to talk you through, uh, you know, the price action since that last post, as we've seen, obviously, a very large move to the upside, because uh, I can share with you a few really nice insights, actually, uh, of how we got to this point. And from there, we'll have built the context up to understand fully why we're looking for higher next and all the reasons behind it. So, yeah, let's uh, educate you and, uh, you know, more learning for the earning, as they say, I think. So um, <laughs> let's go into it. Uh, really simply, you know, I put myself out there, right? I've been selling to everybody. Yes, I am bullish. I am in long trades. I have no shorts and I am not shorting here until we make new highs. Could have I been wrong? The answer is yes. If I was wrong, uh, I would have always, always held up my hands and say, hey, I made a mistake. I uh, shorted. I got bearish. And here we are uh, with a pump to the upside. So I, I put myself in that, you know, what somewhat, you know, vulnerable position to uh, be incorrect on my predictions in front of thousands of people. But uh, could have been wrong and we dropped. But, you know, we uh, thankfully are still remaining correct with the long and chill bias of being bullish. And so what happened since that last video? We hit $39,000. Okay. From hitting $39,000, we got a bit of a pullback and sideways price action. Really simply, I want to share a very nice insight with you all. And that was uh, as we hit $39,000 here on Coinbase to be exact, 39,000. At that time, uh, Bybit, of course, hit 39,000. Uh, would be this high here, $39,029, okay, 39029 on Bybit, but that high on Coinbase was 29000 and really, uh, 39000 and really simply, I said to my team, you know, we've hit this high, uh, we've took it out on a few other exchanges, Bybit, right, but uh, we have hit the exact round, big psychological number on, on Coinbase, so uh, my analysis was simple, I've got the statistics, you know, I've put in the time, I've, I've built it up, I've got the confidence to say we're going to get a small retracement here before another move upwards. What happened next? Well, we got a small retracement, swing failure pattern of that low, of course, giving a very, very nice long trade entry with the statistics to back us up that we are going to get another move upwards here. After that swing failure pattern, we got a bit of a move up, we come down and we remain range bound, not taking out that low, by the way. And then bam, we got a very, very big, large rise to the upside. And like I say, there is the pump we expected to take out $39,000. It truly does pay to run these statistics. Low of the retracement was the SFB here. Um, you know, really simply just a lovely few days for the technical analysis and the trades, right? But reminding my team uh, once again, you know, just to make it clear, we're through 39,000, but I still remain long. I still remain long and chill, bullish, higher term time frame, bullish, no short trades, expecting higher prices to come. Okay, after that post the next day, another 7% rise to the upside. I remain bullish still, though, long, chill, higher prices will be coming. What am I saying to my team again today? Long, chill, higher time frame, frame bullish, no short trades, expect higher prices to come. You know, the confidence booster that this gives to people that are anxious and itching to short, 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 short. When I come in here, you know, posting, you know, on, on, on Discord, telling you all nothing's changed, expect higher from October into November, into December, month on month on month now, just with the same bias. No short trades, long and chill. 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 You know, while others are, you know, excited and shorting, getting stopped out for 0.1%, you know, we are just trading this trend, okay? Remaining bullish, making millions in profits. Okay, you've got to be following along with the champions if you want to be making those millions right now because it's simple. We are reading the market. It's not just a simple case of 
reading the market and thinking, oh, it's just long, it's just long, it's just long because of that. You know, we're reading it in detail, right? We're understanding the market structure. We're understanding the levels of targets. We're understanding the pull and pull or when it comes to the volume, right? And then on top of that, you got the intraday setups that it's paying to take. So you're getting the intraday, you know, best time to take the long trade. So you're not longing into resistance and getting worried on the pullback. You're on the lower term timeframes, taking advantage of such pullbacks to, you know, absolutely make massive profits as you continue this uptrend. So that's enough of the context building, uh, how we got to this point. Now I'm going to spend, uh, you know, the next five minutes explaining to you why I remain bullish. Okay. And what those upper targets are next. So I hope that you enjoy. Uh, really simply before I move on to that, I just want to remind you all, if you want to be involved in the updates that I give you, if you want to see the bias, if you want that confidence booster, for many, it's just a confidence booster to know what I'm doing helps them remain patient, calm and, you know, looking for those long trades. You know, when I get my bias switch, when I've hit those targets and I'm telling my team short, you know, guess what? It will be posted in here. Uh, so so the champs will be able to know that. So if you want that, you know, confidence booster when I'm taking that short trade on Bitcoin, hey, first people that are going to know are the champions. But the main focus of chart champions is, of course, this is a nice little advantage being in here on the Discord. But the main thing that you're after is the education. And that is what you've got in in an abundance. Uh, you've got live trading, even with Igor coming up in 40 minutes, you're going to have live trading streams. You've got the whole educational library from the beginners to the masters. you got Every single theory that we use day to day, crushing this market and making a lot of profit, taught to you on the website. Okay, so all of that you got in one stop shop with the journal, with everything that you need. Simply put, chartchampions.com. So, yeah, if you want to, you know, really follow a loss along with the uh, with the pros day in day out, CC Paul. Uh, so yeah, moving on, we are. Of course, we've got pullback levels. I'm not saying it's going to be straight line up. No, never get a pullback. Of course, we've got pullback support levels. They are back down below $40,000. Okay, but there's really strong support that's built up at around $37,000. So you might be a bit worried. You know, this is the thing. You might be scared, worried, anxious if you're getting these pullbacks. But you have to understand they are long opportunities uh, while we have still higher targets above us. So you know, we've really got strong support down there around $37,000, you know. So for me, this is a very big buy the dip opportunity from the, uh, you know, our daily NPOC zone to the weekly NPOC zone uh, to bring us up to higher targets. The, the, the first higher target above us sits here at around 43,545, which is our weekly naked point of control. OK, of course, we got a monthly above us, but this is not a big level, in my opinion. But yeah, the weekly NPOC is a Definitely a level you want to have marked on your chart. So 43,545, please mark that on your chart. This is a bit of a zone. You don't have to think of it as an exact dollar. But you have this nice zone on the naked point of control. And I'll explain why. As I just hide the NPOCs and higher term time frame levels a second, I'll come out onto the daily and I'll explain why that zone is important. So actually, if you look back here, okay, if you look back here to the 21st of April, and you will actually be able to see that there is a high formed before I move to the downside. So that gives us a little bit of a liquidity region there from around 42, nine, say $43,000, right? So you've got that bit of a zone. My targets remain above that, uh, but it's a level of interest, of course, where we could get that reversal. Bigger targets for me sitting around 47, 48 to, you know, really $54,000. Previous range POC to so the value area high. So for me, has been a... Uh, a godsend when it comes to holding this bias that I've had as soon as we got above 30k you know I'm thinking yeah that there's no reason why we're not hitting $47,000 of course <laughs> take that tongue on cheek there are levels that we can see potential reversals but from myself as a swing trader higher term time frame bias you know of yeah you, you cannot deny I've been coming in here day week month you know the same thing no short trades long and chill higher you know it's undeniable that's been my bias right so um and the way i've got that bias is is from this really simple bit of analysis you know it doesn't have to be hard it doesn't have to be complicated you know keep it simple that's a, that's a lot of things sometimes people struggle with but i keep it simple hey and we're, we're raking in the profits right now that's undeniable so yeah i remain bullish i remain long I remain expect higher prices to come. I'm aware of our next potential reversal level. So don't come in here and, and get confused. I'm aware that we can definitely um, get a reversal and a pullback. Okay. So what I'd say is if we pull back 
before hitting the NPOC, it's a buy the dip opportunity. You want to be a bit more cautious, definitely, <laughs> if you come up and hit that first, because then you've hit a major target. So it's a different context. Remember, context is key. Context is what helps you make money in this market. You have to understand why price is coming from the level it's just came from. Because if you, if you, you know, there's a completely different context to be from buying a pullback while the higher target hasn't been hit, hit versus hit higher target and rejecting down. That is a very big contextual difference. So, um, you know, just something to pay attention to. So I've talked you through in this video, the bigger uh, pullback target that I have for buy the dip. If we hit that pullback target before the NPC, again, that context changes. If we hit this first, if we reclaim this as support, then yeah, I'm looking for 47, $50,000 is, is as simple as that. Uh, so yeah, next key level above us, absolutely got to pay attention to. Uh, and yeah, I will end with the final words of if you want to see this, you know where to get it straight from the source chartchampions.com. Of course, right now you all know it. There are 101, <laughs> you know, there are 101 copycats of our, of our service from, you know, ex people that used to be in the group to people that just watch our content and, uh, you know, try and copy what we do. But there's a reason, <laughs> there's a reason their business fails. And it's as simple as, you know, they are trying to copy, but you, you cannot copy the level of experience that we have, the honest, real integrity that comes with, you know, doing live trading streams, showing the results live to you on stream. Okay. Having a, over a decade of experience in this market, that's something that, you know, the copycat groups cannot take. And that is why chart champions remain on top of the market. OK, coming in here day in, day out. We are here to take profits. We are here to crush the market. And as always, we are remaining on top. So if you want to be on top, go to the source, come to Chart Champions and you will not be disappointed. I'll tell you that. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. And yeah, for me, that's the same bias looking for higher. And now, you know, the exact reasons why and what level I'm looking towards next. Thank you ever so much. Cheers. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.